I once was lost. But now I'm found. All because of Jesus. He will never let me down. Listen. I was lost. But now I'm found. Cause I got Jesus. He won't let me down. He had a plan for you. can't preach my home going. My sermon, it is my life. Welcome back, everybody. I hope y'all are having a wonderful, blessed weekend as we thank the Most High for so much. Yesterday, I attended a funeral of a great, great, great guy, um, Brother Ted Lynch. And uh, every time I go to a funeral, I see so much, I hear so much. And a lot of times people ask you, man, what you want said at your funeral, JT, when you pass on? You know, who would you get to preach at your funeral? And you see my title. You really can't preach my home going. You know why? Because my life already preaches it. You know, you oftentimes hear me on her say, you know, you have your beginning date, dash in the middle, and then the day that you die. What can people say about the dash in the middle? Would it be good things? Would it be terrible things? What did you do with your life? See, when you look at our Savior, his actions, his life showed us how much he loved everybody he, who he was around. It showed the type of man, the type of most high God that we serve. And if we will learn to view death, teach Holy Spirit, the way our Savior showed us, when the Most High said death to his saints is precious in his eyesight, a lot of this mess at these funerals wouldn't even exist. It wouldn't be nobody trying to jump in the casket talking about take me instead. It wouldn't be all this craziness that you see, let me just say, quote unquote, in a lot of black funerals. Because if you understand what you are reading, we always quote, no, to be absent from the body means to be present with the Lord. If you truly believe that, if you really understood what it meant, why is it so much falling out and acting crazy? Because, see, a lot of people truly do understand that everybody is not sitting on the right side. Uh-oh. Everybody is not what they're supposed to be thinking that they really are. Somebody right now is on the wrong side. Somebody on their way to the wrong side. Somebody is on the right side. You're going to end up somewhere, but the question is, where? And what are you doing once again in this life to press towards your afterlife? So as I stated, you know, I get that question all the time, JT, out of all your ministry. I mean, when you die, I don't want nobody getting up at my funeral line. Talking about all the years me and me and JT this, we did this. I don't need all that. You know what? I'm living it. I want people to say when I'm gone, hey man, that brother reached out. That brother always carried, that brother always encouraged. I'm living that right now. That's why every day the most time blesses me and I'm I'm able to reach out and and, and talk to somebody else, teach. I do it. Because I don't know. When I'm going to take my last breath. You don't know when you're going to take your last breath. My sister Lady D would always say, if you stay ready, you ain't got to worry about getting ready. Problem is, ain't too many people trying to stay ready. Because let me tell you something. Time is pressing on very quick now. People are dying looking like about a second now. More and more crime, more and more divorces, more and more children are being rebellious. More and more, just you name it, it's going on. People are getting further and further away from what the Most High told us to do. They doing what they want to do, just like Second Timothy teaches us about the waxing cold, the itching of the ears, how people was just going to do what they want to do and be pleasers of 
themselves. So as I close, I'm living my sermon. You can get up, hoop and holler, and talk about this as a celebration, and ah, this and how that, this is a home going, but if you live in your life, you live in your sermon. You live, your home going is you, you lived your life. I know this might sound crazy to somebody because we so custom, accustomed to it got to be this way at the funeral. Well, the wake went this way. I Man, I don't care nothing about all this wake and all this, this these old traditional things that you got to keep going through. When I'm gone, I'm gone. I don't need a church full of people sitting up weeping over, over a, a body that's gone back to where it's gone and I'm already out of there. I don't need nobody putting no flowers around me when I'm dead and gone because I can't smell them. Show sure can't see them. If you're going to give me some flowers, give them to me while I'm living. Oh, teach Holy Spirit. We got the wrong outlook on a lot of things, y'all. So I just wanted to come hit you with that. You really can't preach my home going. My life is my sermon. My sermon is my life. What did JT do? Just look back over what he done. I don't even have to say a word. I'm not the type of person to, to when I'm doing something, you don't even know it. Because I'm not that bragging and boasting. And if JT did something, you know, I'm kind of like, uh, what's my man's name? Metal World Peace, Ron Artest, that so many people talk bad about that play basketball. He did so much and didn't want nobody to know nothing about it. That's the same way I am. So my life is my sermon. My home going, my home going. When I leave her, you can try your best to preach it. But I already lived it. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Peace.